Hey everybody, welcome to episode 20 of the Nate Stowe Show. Uh, today we're going to answer a question about how many days a week do I need to work out, and also just watched the movie yesterday, The Dead Won't Die, and thought I'd give you all a movie review. Uh, but let's start with that question of how many days a week do I need to work out. And I really just think that this is the wrong question because the answer would be like every day. Um, I believe a better question, a better approach is what can you commit to doing? And once we know what you could commit to doing, how many days a week, how much time, we can now decide how to best use that time. So, for instance, if your goal is to lose some weight, uh, lose some body fat, which is most people's goals, and you only had one hour per week, I would spend that hour prepping my food um, and cooking and shopping and things like that because controlling the food in your going in your belly is going to help a lot bigger result than trying to burn an extra couple hundred calories. So if you only got one hour and the goal is to weight lo lose weight, lose body fat, then it should all be dedicated to planning your food, prepping your food, cooking your food, okay? Now, if your goal is to lose weight and you can do more than one hour, you can do two, three hours, then those next couple hours I would spend on resistance training. Uh, resistance training, the big reason why is that when you work out and you lift weights, not only do you burn calories, but you burn calories after you work out for up to 72 hours. Also, you build lean body mass, you build muscle mass, and muscle equals metabolism, so you burn more calories again outside of that workout. So, you've only got one hour, spend it on your food prep, food preparation, um, you got two and three hours, then start a resistance training program. Now you're like, okay, I got some more time, I got four and five hours. Well, this is a little bit tricky, it depends upon how good a shape you're in. If you're in pretty good shape, you don't have any injuries, um, you're relatively healthy, then you want to do high intensity type training. So that's basically get on a spin bike, go for some sprints, but you got to work really, really hard so you feel like you're going to throw up. Like, you know, like you got to get to where uh, they call it the talk test, where if I say, hey, how are you doing? You're like, <laughs> like, you can't even talk, you're so out of breath. So you would spend uh, another hour or two doing that. Um, if you're not in great shape, um, you're injury prone, then you can go ahead and just go for a walk, just get uh, what's called NEAT, non-exercise activity, uh, just burning extra calories by moving around, parking further, things like that. And if you got more time than that, you got another hour or two, then do that long duration um, type stuff. Or if you're already doing it, do more of it. So how many days do you want to work? Do you need to work out? I mean, if you do every day, do something every day. Um, I try to do something every day. Uh, but again, I think a better question is start with what you can do. How many days a week can you work out? And then we can decide what is the best use of that time, um, depending on what you can do and what the goal is. Uh, if you like a little bit more specific answer for you, just send me a message. Tell me this is how long I could do and this is my goal and I'll help you out from there. Um, all right, spoiler free movie review. We went and watched um, The Dead Won't Die starring um, Bill Murray and just a whole bunch of other famous people playing zombies. Uh, I went with a B plus. I think it's really good. It's very character driven. Um, I don't I don't see it as like an A plus. Uh, it's not something you have to see in theaters. There aren't like big explosions or CGI or anything where you know being on a large screen and the surround sound the speakers doesn't really benefit the movie. Uh, I think it'll be just as enjoyable watching it on the television off my couch here at the house. Uh, but overall, I got a couple chuckles. It was very entertaining. I enjoyed myself. I'll definitely watch it again when it comes out on. Um, Netflix or HBO or whatever, any kind of streaming. I don't think I'd spend money to buy it or rent it to watch it again. So anyway, that's why it's a B plus. Uh, good, enjoyable movie, but uh, you know, just don't have to. You know, I'm not, I'm not like can't wait to watch it again. Like I was with say Avengers Endgame. I cannot wait to watch that one again. That's it. Y'all could probably hear Buddy in the background going nuts. So let me go take care of him. Have a great day. I'll be back soon.